I feel like a bit of an idiot. Uh, my plane, of course, nothing could go according to plan. Uh, my plane home from Goshen sat on the tarmac for almost two hours. I didn't get to Buffalo till one o'clock. I wasn't driving home. Still had to get my videos done, so I figured, you know what? I'll just get them done and out of the way, and then I'll be able to send them out, at least on the Wi-Fi from the hotel also. So we have a number of stables to go through. I got all the videos except for the stables done. Um, I want to get those out to you guys. I made a bit of an error also today uh, when I was talking about the Ohio horse uh, Desperado being out of a sister to bet. Uh, uh, and I knew it as soon as I said it. Out of a sister to better's delight. She's not out of a sister to better's delight. She had a sister to Bahama Blue. And uh, the blue chip mare and the second dam is by better's delight. And I knew it when I said it. But I just got mixed up. Anyway, thought I'd clear that up. Let's talk about the babies then. Uh, we'll talk about the four that I bought today. We'll talk about the eight that we have in training right now. Technically seven. Fox Valley Britska made it all the way to Ohio from Illinois but has not made it to Canada yet. She will come to Canada in the next few days. Not the end of the world. Uh, lots of time when you think about it. It's the first part of September. We won't have the, ho the horses broke from the Harrisburg sale until the first part of November. So lots of time in that regard. Can't deny my spirit. Here's a beautiful look. You guys are gonna love this colt when you see him. It's funny, all the horses sold out except for the trotters that I really think are, are nice looking horses also. Can't deny my spirit. Uh, GW Chrome. There's one other horse hit shares left. No, no, no. Uh, oh, the Britska horse, right. I uh, can't really speak of the Britska horse. I haven't seen him yet. So can't deny my spirit. Uh, somebody had sent me a well thought out email of the, the heritage of, of, of Southwind Spirit and the connections to this family. Beautiful Colt does his work beautifully, perfectly, flawlessly, fluid gait. You guys are going to see that when you see him. I can't imagine there'll be shares left in him or GW Chrome much longer. But for now, there are on Can't Deny My Spirit, Beautiful Colt, Well-Bred. Don't know the sire that well. Lots going on on the sire side and the dam side. We'll get into that another time. Um, Southwind Spirit looked like he was a very good two-year-old and got hurt. I think he made three or $400,000, a son of Muscle Hill, and he got hurt and stood stud in Ohio. Probably didn't get the best mares. Decent mare here. One good looking colt with can't deny my spirit. Carry a big stick, he's sold out. Now there are a couple of shares in the holding account. I can move back over into the general account for everybody. I, I will keep shares back at the start. I've said this a million times. Sometimes uh, the gray filly's all sold out now, but I'm always worried that somebody's gonna say, hey, I sent you that email saying I wanted shares and they're all gone. That, that would really bother me. It makes me upset that happened one time and I was scrambling around for a week to get shares for, for somebody that that had actually happened to. So when we buy the horses, I'll generally keep back some shares. I didn't in uh, in uh, Goshen today because we only had a few emails to address as far as the horses. The horses I bought were not on my list. None of them were. So it wasn't like we had that build up where people said, I, if you buy the horse, I'll take this much or that much. Nobody knew we were buying those horses. So that wasn't a problem today. As I said, carry a big stick, we'll probably move couple of those shares back into the open market. Uh, first glance, he's been sold out for a year. Looks good, this Colt. Um, you can really tell the difference between horses that are prepped for a sale, even the Ohio sale, and horses that aren't prepped at all. They just look a little rough around the edges, and I think first glance will look that way for another couple of weeks, but he is he looks pretty good on the track, and all he does is pace. So it's all the, pace, all the paces, all they're doing is pacing right now. Makes our job pretty easy. So first glance looks great. Fox Valley Brits guy, again, I can't comment on him. Haven't seen him yet. He's in Ohio, we can ask Jason how he looks. But for right here, I haven't seen the Britska Colt yet. Gray is the new red, sold out, beautiful filly. She got a long gait, this is the Racing Hill filly. Long gait, head nice and low. Looks beautiful pacing on the track. GW Chrome, I really like the way this guy trots. Got a big, big gait on him. I'm gonna take him and stick probably over to get them fluoroscope just to make sure we don't have any issues because we can nip that in the bud right now. They would, if say a, one of them had an OCD, we could get it operated on, taken out, and they'd still be back jogging before we broke the horses in, in the Harrisburg sale. So 
Uh, GW Chrome looks great. Very happy with him. My Jazz, as I told you, that knee would come down. It's not been a problem. She trots beautifully on the track. Again, another sold-out horse. And well and down, she's a fiery little bugger. She's a bad little bugger in the morning sometimes. Well and down's the well-said filly out of the sister to eternal camnation. Beautiful filly on the track, though. She paces real, real nice. So that's me. That's the first time in a while. That's Anthony's barn. That's eight of them. Four more joined today. We got some private ones on the way. We're going to get up around 25 right before um, any of the major sales hit. We'll be at 20, 20 to 25 before Ohio next week um, if they all start to come in. As of right now, we got eight. That's all of them. Be back in just a minute. We're going to talk about the turnouts, Jason's burn, Mario's burn, all the little burns. Be back in just one minute. 